Good morning and uh, welcome again. This is our 15th of streaming, so uh, all those that have been with us throughout, well, uh, welcome. Um, we've got some new people, some people that didn't realise we were doing this, so uh, I'll say the same thing I normally say. If you have joined us from YouTube and not through the cargomoss.com, register on that one. So it's cargomoss.com uh, and you can register. You'll get an email from either um, Energize Enterprise or Discus just to welcome you and they're doing it on our behalf. So it doesn't go any further than our community. Um, and also, if you've got anything to send in, then send it to cargomoss at gmail.com. So uh, uh, you'll see today we got some videos, VTs, follow on from last week. So if you're um, Steve got the doof doofs that uh, the EastEnders have about the break. Did he do it? Did he not? We'll see later on. Um, if you are new to us today, uh, whether it's our, our Academy members or anyone else, take it nice and steady, take it at your own pace. The idea of all these streamings is give different ideas of how you can train at home. So we're missing the Academy, we're missing the space, we're getting ready. So uh, I'll talk about uh, when we're coming back uh, later on. Um, but So you can train around. So make sure you've got space to move your arms and legs. Make sure you do it. If anything feels uncomfortable, don't do it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you feel we're going too fast, miss every other one out so you can still stay with us but you don't have to keep the, the intensity so you go to your own intensity right we're going to make a start so from there as we always do from there feet up and bow right let's get ourselves moving let's get those arms rolling and let's roll those arms backwards and bring them in and out going up and down Both arms. Okay, okay. okay stretch your forwards. And if you've got someone next to you, make sure as we move across, we're not touching them. And have the knees soft, keep them pointed forwards. We're going to work a waist twist. So arms up, keep the knees pointed forwards, as we go left and right. Oh, already we've had a few people to call out. So good morning, John and Emma from Moulton. So Emma Bannister and Lee and Steve. So again, it's great to see that you're with us again. And let's get those knees rolling outwards. So if you want to call out, just let us know who's with us. So tap in on the um, section below this, this filming. So you can type in uh, uh, who's with us and we'll give you a call out. And it's nice for us to find out who's joined us. Let's bring those knees to the shoulders. So we're waking the body up in movement and getting the muscles warmer. So let's have those feet double shoulder width and we're going right and left. We're going to go over to one side, so stretch up high over the head and stretch down. So you feel the stretch on the side of the knees. Let's get the muscles moving, less injuries. Bring it back, going up and over the top. And also, I think we've got Sparjan and Simmons. So, good morning to you guys. Turn the face this way, front knee bent, back leg straight, and press through the back arm. Keep pressing. Change the back foot to the ball of the knee to the floor and then push the hips forwards to open up this hip. And from there, let's turn the face of the way. Front knee bent back, leg straight, push it forwards and press through with the back arm. Change the back foot onto the ball of the foot, knee to the floor, push the hips forwards and push it. And bringing it back. Will that open up the hip flexor right into the abductor? Right, we're going to swing the legs. So make sure you've got space in front of you. If not, turn sideways. Just so you've got space to swing the legs. Take one leg back, the same arm in front, and we're going to bring the leg to the hands. So height to see yourself. Let's go one, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, and eight. And change the feed server. So especially our new members, if you don't know what we're doing, type your name in the comment section and we can give a call out to yourselves. Off the back leg, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's keep both heels that way. So we can lift the side, the knee into the palm. Like to suit yourself. And again, we're just waking up, loosen up. Five, four, three, two, and one. And turn the heels the other way. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good, good. Well, we're gonna warm up some techniques. So techniques we're gonna put in combinations in a minute. So from the half feet parallel, nice and comfortable, take one fist out, the other one on the hip. We're gonna exchange them over, so it's gonna be a direct exchange on the spot without moving forwards or backwards. Let's go one, go, let's go, let's go. This time, a little hiccup through the heels. So we're not stomping down, we're just getting the timing of the low end of the body. Let's go. 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 Two more. And one. Good. So that's a parallel punch. We're going to take into a sitting stance. So both double shoulder width through the feet, knees parallel, and we're dropping with the back straight down. So we don't want to stick the bottom out. We're just dropping down. And the same motion, we punch on the downward motion. So knees soft, arms up here. When we exchange, we're going to drop and punch. Let's go together. And up. And up. And up. Two more. And one. We're going to do a double punch. So it's a double bounce. Up, down, up, down. So it's going to look. Let's go together. Go. And go. And go. And one more. Good. What we're now going to do is step forward and step back with the punching. So again, look at your space, how we're going to do this. So initially, we're just going to step forward and punch. And if you've got the space, step forward again and punch. If you haven't got the space to double step, you can step forward one, bring it back and step forward two. So again, obviously everyone has got space to do a, a, step, a step. If for a reason you can't even step forward, we can just do it on the spot. We're going to step forward, double step, either on the spot or spot exchange. Let's go. And again. And we're going to step back. And go and get working through those knees. And forward. And back. One more forward. And back. Good. Right, run through some of the defences we're going to do and we're going to put them together in combination. So we're going to step forward with that middle block, so a big cross of the chest, blocking arm from underneath. We're dropping fist in line with the shoulder, we've got a 90 degree in the front arm. Reaction arm does the same. Coming back to the hip. Stepping forward and forward. Stepping back and back. So cross centre chest and forward. And spot turn. So double step, step, double step back. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you here. Two step, double step forward. And back. Good. As we come forward, we're going to do the same kind of block. It's going to come from the top of the cross, and we're going to do a knife hand block. So fingertip and arm the shoulder, stepping forward one. Stepping forward two. Stepping back. And back. Forward, forward, and back, and back. Right, as we step forward this time, it's going to come inwards. So from the outside of the shoulder line to the centre line. And the body will be inside postured, it will be finished in there. We're going to step forward with the right line. Palms, shoulder height. One's coming in, one's coming back. Right leg forward. Let's go one, and forward. 
as we step back, just have the shoulders in front, use the rear arm. It's now in front. Stepping forwards. Stepping back. The most important thing, just have a go. Right or wrong, just have a go. It will get better, but no one can see you. And back. One more forward. Good swing in. If you're using two arms confused, especially on your members, just use the doing arm, the blocking arm. Okay, as we step forward this time, center chest, we're going straight up. Elbow next to the ear. We don't want to be doing this. Relax for the shoulder, but it does mean nothing for the head. Elbow as close to the ear as possible. Let's step forward. And forward. And center chest. And we're going to use the opposite arm, rear arm up. And forward. And back. Good, good, good. Right, from there. The other one we're going to work is the attacks with the back fist. So across the, we're going to do these on the spot. Backfish strikes. So let's go one. And your head. So line up, you can see your own image, to the side of your own head. And similar to that inward motion of that inward block, we're going to come in using the reverse knife hands. So we've got the knife hands we can strike outwards, and we're going to do a knife hand strike in a minute. We're going to do a reverse knife hand in. So with this hand, we're going to go in. Bring it back to the shoulder, in, back to the shoulder, in, back to the shoulder, in. Two more. And one. Good. And I'm, that's going inwards, so from the shoulder line inwards. We're now going to go outwards, so striking the knife hands, look inside targets here. Two more, and one. Good, what we're now gonna do is put the cock techniques together in combination. Um, and we've mentioned about typing in about, letting us know if you're here. Have we got a few more call outs? Yeah, we have. Um, we're Donna O'Brien's here. Good morning, Good morning. Donna. Um, we've got we've em Emma Bannister and Stephen Lee, we've, we've said hi to. And uh, Mick Burnage is here as well. Good morning, Mick, and hopefully Kim's with you. Again, if Mum and uh, Jake uh, are doing it as well, welcome. And that's what this is about, it's for everyone. So if Mum and Dad, oh, we've got a lovely picture of Simon and Rajan working. So thanks for sending that. And uh, we've already had permission uh, from Rajan's Mum and Dad. So hopefully we'll pop that on Facebook. So same thing with yourself. If you've got any pictures or record yourself, doing uh, the training with us. It'd be great for other people. And how are some of our other members, they're not in our emails, they're seeing it on Facebook. So let's put it on Facebook, let's get the whole of our community together, okay? Especially in this difficult time. Right, what we're gonna do is put the combinations together, again, go to your own pace. We're gonna step forward with that middle block, um, um, or stepping back, should I say. So the scenario for this first view is someone coming in with a punch, a grab, or a push in an aggressive manner. So we have to deal with it rather than just saying stop. We're gonna step back with that middle on the spot. And we're gonna counter punch. Okay, again, if you've got the space and you wanna do a double step, you're welcome to do so, but we're countering. So we're blocking outwards, just the inside of the arm, and we're counter attacking. So we're gonna step back with this leg. Let's go one, and change, and punch. And again, go. Good. And again, let's go. Good. And we've got two more. And one more. Let's go. Okay. So if anyone's watching and thinking, why are they going to spell slow? We're developing technique. This is developing technique. We can take it faster. As I said, we've got a mixture of abilities on this uh, streaming. So we're going to power techniques. So let's develop power techniques. It can be speeded up. So again, for any skeptics thinking, why are they doing this? 
it can go to that place. That's not what we're doing today. Right, we're going to go with an inward block. So we're going to take the other leg back. We're going to go inward block, inward block, and back fist strike. So we're changing it. So in this case, I'm going to go left, right, and left. So let's step back with this leg using the left arm. Let's go inward, inward, back fist. Let's go. Good. So we want to stop the technique by attacking one go. Let's go this leg again. And we've got two more. Let's go. And Right, next combination we're going to work is that knife hand block we've done earlier, and we're going to go knife hand block, and we're going to take it knife hand strike. So we're going to go back with the left leg. So it could be knife hand block this way, knife hand block this way, and changing hands. So it is right, left, right. So let's take the left leg back. Let's go. And let's go again. Back. And one more. And we walk back. Good, good, good. Right, this time we're going to go with the rising block. We're going to take the right leg back. So it's going to go rising block. It's going to go rising block. And we're going to go for a palm strike. So the filter, the jaw. That kind of area it can be chest, but uh, so plexus, but we're looking for this kind of area. So let's go right leg back. We're going rising block. So let's step back one. Exchange and palm. And let's go again. So rising block and rising block and palm strike. <clears throat> go. Go. And we've got one more. Okay, and bring it back. Right, this time we're going to go, the attack is now not necessarily straight, it's going to come in here. It could be a knife hand, it could be a wild swing, doesn't matter, we're going to meet it. So we're going to go, we've been doing a middle inner form block, and we're going to go outer form block. Right, from there, we're going to take your left leg back, so it's going to go outer form block, see, it's not to the shoulder line, don't need to go any further. It's going to go, forward, so I turn the body, it's still shoulder line. And the counter is going to be an inward reverse knife hand, temple, hinge of the jaw, side of the jaw, neck. So left leg back, so we're doing outer form block. Let's go. Exchange, exchange. So out of form block. Left leg back. Go. And we go slow. Let's go. And go. Right, this time, one more for you before we go to the VTs. It's going to be that palm hooking block. Now this is fast, but it's soft. So the idea is to grab hold or to parry out the way. So grab hold or parry out the way. So if you're grabbing hold, you're putting on to the counter attack, which will be the reverse punch. So let's take the right leg back. So it's on top, palm hooking block. We're coming on top, changing the shoulder positions, and we're going to pull and grab them into the counter punch. Right leg back, let's go. Good. So faster technique, softer breath. Right leg back. Good. 
two more. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Right, give it a bit of a second, and we'll catch up with that VT and see if we continue on from last week's VT. No cuts. Charlie here again. I've decided to uh, finally take up the 26 challenge um, after seeing Harry's inspirational video where he did 26 uh, press ups and then 26 sit ups. I've decided to push that a bit further and go for 26 press ups, 26 crunches, 26 squat thrusts, and 26 leg raises. So that's 104 reps in total which sounds a little bit crazy and it probably is. I've never tried it so I may not survive but it's worth a go. Now I've just about recovered from PE with Joe this morning. It's 10 o'clock, it's an hour until Taekwondo so I've got a bit of time to fill so let's give it a try. Hello there, Harry Rickland here. I uh, just want to start off by saying thank you Charlie Hayes for taking up my 26 challenge with the 26 press ups, 26 sit ups. However, you beat my record and you did four exercises and got 104, so I'm going to try and beat that myself. On top of that, I want to thank Gary Powell as well because he set me a 25 press ups for 25 days um, challenge uh, for mental health awareness. So the first 25 press ups of this challenge will be me doing that for mental health. So I'll be doing five exercises, all 26. Uh, I'll do press ups first because that's the one I thought of. The other four, it just kind of depends how I'm feeling after the press ups. So just see how it goes. Thank you again, Charlie Hayes and Gary Powell. Try that one. Woo. Thank you again. Day two of the mental health challenge for Gary Power tomorrow. We'll be up. There you go, Charlie. See if you can beat that.
chance of that. I don't think anyone had a doubt about Steve breaking that board. Well done, we expected it. It's a terrific guy. As I mentioned last time, we saw the preparation for that. If you haven't done breaking before, do not do it. It's pure, it looks easy when it's done well, like anything else. So Steve's well trained, he knows what he's doing, he won't get hurt. If you just go and hit something, you guarantee you're gonna break something, hurt, 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 hurt. It's not what it's all about. It's, it's a measure of power. So well done for that. And again, well done for uh, Harry and Charles. Great challenge on there. Now, as you know, those have been with us from the start. We set a punching challenge. We set a kicking challenge. We set a demo challenge. And obviously the 26. So if you've got anything you want to bring in, send him. And we can include you, whether it be still photos, as you've seen some of the guys before, or if it's your own video. But make it safe, not too long. As you see, Harry was uh, probably had a bit of a red ball there, a little bit speeded up on that, so that we got the idea of what he's doing. So well done. Right, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna work some leg work now. Okay, so from there, you can do it on the spot or you can take it one leg back. Keeping those hands up, as you see from Richard Nickerson's video, which is below in our demos page. So if you wanna watch any of those videos and others, click onto our demo page after the screen. Right, take one leg back, we're going to come forward with a front kick. So as you know from a side profile, we're going to pick it up and push it forwards. And it's a boiler full foot tool of use. So we can do it on the spot, so just up with one leg, out, or take it through so we're kicking through. Keep those hands up, so we're not using for balance. Keep the knees soft. So locking out the joints on techniques doesn't improve it, it just makes the joints sore. So it's tensing up the muscles, in association with the kick. And if you're not too sure how it does, do it slowly to work it out. Let's take the other leg back. We're gonna work with that kick, front kick, and breathe it up. And go, and go. Two more, and one. Right, I said about doing it slowly, and that's what the idea of today's training as well. So we're gonna do it normal speed, or we're gonna do it half speed, so up, and this is balance muscle control. We've mentioned on previous ones, if you find you're wobbling too much, just hold on to a chair. Go up. And up. Two more with that leg. And one more. Let's change the legs. So keep both knees soft. So as I mentioned before, soft technique, soft breath. And two more. And one. We're gonna go to this side with that side kick. So that's primarily the target. Kick the heels, pick the knee up, and press out. We're gonna do a normal speed to start with. Let's go. Let's go. Look at the target. Aim for something, might be a cushion. So aim for something, you get it online. Two more, and one. We're gonna go the other way. So aim for something, knee up. You see I've already turned the heels, press out. And again, normal speed, let's go. Two more, and one. Right, half speed, picking it up. Pressing it out. I do expel the air, don't hold the breath. Get, great for getting your cardio working with the technique. I'm uh, talking out, but expels the air. One more. Let's go the other way. Breathe it in. And in. And in. One more. Right, the turning kick. As you know, we're bringing the heel to the buttock when I'm coiling the leg to a side, forward side target. We're going to go this leg. Heel to the buttock, knee back, and uncoil. Bring it back, normal speed to start with. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two more. And with the other leg, so heel to the buttock, and round, let's go. Let's go. Let's 
Good. Two more. And one. We're going back to the other leg. It's back and slowly uncoil. Let's bring it back and down. I'm going to a moderate pace, you guys, slow as you like. Two more. And one. Right, we'll use the other leg. Right, so you try and keep your head over your sternal leg so you don't wobble and fall. One more. Good. Now the hook kick is that turning kick in reverse. So instead of going forward with the ball of the foot, we go to backwards with the heel of the foot. And we're going to take it directly to the side, not 45, directly to the side, or 45 behind. That's the tension. No more speed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two more. And one. And with our other leg to the other side. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two more, and one, we're going to go backwards, now you're going to start feeding this in the muscles, great work, that's what it's all about, so if you get stiff afterwards, don't forget the good cool down after any activity, two more, and one, and we're going to go to the other side, let's go. Let's go, let's go, one more, now one more kick before we go to the last kicking combo and that's a downward kick, very difficult to do slowly but we need to get the momentum up, so the downward kicks and the collarbone and the chest will fall on target, just to remind yourself you're going straight up and down, okay, now where we're going to control it in the slow-mo is on the way down, but let's get it going first. Normal speed, hands up, and again, and again, and again. Let's change the legs. Difficulty is keeping those hands up because if you need to throw this technique, whether it be in training, sparring, or any other reason, you want the hands up to either counter attack, control the situations, right out here. Back leg, let's go. Go and go. Two more and one. Right, as I said before, difficult one to do slowly, especially to get the momentum. So we're going to go up and control, try to control the downward movements. So it's up. Let's change the legs straight away. Okay, up and up and up. One more, let's go. Right, where are we going with this? If you can do it slow, you can change easy into the transitions. We can do it fast, so if I'm gonna do a funky cycle. But for muscle control, balance and training, we're gonna flow it. Like a Tai Chi kick. So go. Good, let's go. You can't do this without balance, can you? Let's try with the other leg. Let's go. And one more. Good. We're going to do the front kick, the side kick, and the turning kick. Let's go. Heel to bottom. Front kick, side kick, heel to the bottom, turning kick. Let's go. One more. Let's change the leg. Front kick, side kick, 
turning kick. Let's go. And go. One more. I think you probably guess what's coming next. We're going to do a front kick, we're going to do a side kick, take it forward to that opponent, backwards to that opponent. It's like a Jackie Chan move, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's go. Good. And go. One more. Let's change legs. Two more. And one more. Oops. Okay, lost it on that last one. Right, the last one for you, and you can see where we're going. We've done the downward kick. We're going to do the downward kick, hold the knee, punch out the front kick, side kick turning, hook hook kick, job's a good one. Right, let's go. Turning kick, hook kick, that's on the back, well done. Right, one more, let's go. And with the other leg, last one for you before we go into the fitness in case you're going to push out there. Let's go. Downward kick, nearly forgot. Front kick, side kick, turning kick, and if you have to put down, saves you falling over. One more. Downward kick, front kick, side kick, turning kick, and hook kick. Right, before we go into the fitness, is there any more call outs? Uh, I think we're all caught up. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm guessing everybody is uh, exercising pretty hard. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, not looking forward to how my legs are going to feel after I do this one. You're obviously looking forward to fitness. We're going to go move on in a minute. But if you do want to tap in, let us know you're here. We can give you a call out. to your own level so if you need to sit out for part of it or take it down or really if you want to take it up and you don't have the speed go to your own pace if you're feeling a bit dizzy then do stop we're going to be working at different levels so beginner level intermediate and senior level so i'm going to pass you straight over to mrs watson good morning again everybody welcome to a new week okay we're working on the legs first this week okay um remember some of you back in um week one so if you need to hold on to a chair or hold on to a wall, you can. But what we're doing today is really slow. We're going to go slow with those kicks. Okay, the more advanced people, we're going to do them, but we're going to do it on the floor. So we're going like a table, so knees and hands, again, you can stand up, it doesn't matter. And we're going to take that leg out, and it's going nice and slow. We're going to take it out. We're doing a turning kick one today. Okay, we're going to go that way, and then when the time is finished, straight up with the other leg. Okay, get ready in your position. Yes. And time is on. Okay, so this one, make sure you still keep breathing though. Keep that breath going. Breathing in. So the slower the better on this one. Nice and slow. Taking it all the way back to the bottom. And round. Halfway on that leg. And breathe. Keep breathing. If you started standing. Ten seconds. And you think you can do it on the floor. Then go down on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, putting that leg down. Whatever we can do on that one, we can do on the other one. When we're ready, off we go. If you've started on the floor and it's a little bit too difficult, then just stand up, hold on to a wall or onto the back of the chair. Your choice. Keep breathing. Halfway down. 
Bring that leg all the way back to the bottom. Try and keep that knee up. Don't let Ten. this knee go down. Nine. Keep the knee up. Good work, okay, so just pull backwards onto your bottom and big stretch out. Stretch it out, good, and standing. Okay, moving on, we're going to work the arms now. Again, we've done this in previous weeks, so and we're just going to roll the arms around. We'll show you sideways this way. Okay, making it harder is going faster. So that's all we're doing, and we're going to do it from side, centre, and side. Okay, when they're ready, time is on, and go. So again, keep breathing, keep breathing. You want to go faster, go faster. Pick those arms up, keep them rolling, rolling, and back to the centre, and round the other side. You want to take Hard it down, way. and don't have it above your shoulders, okay? So keep it moving, keep those arms moving. Ten seconds. Moving, lifting it up. Five, four, Three, two, and stop. Good, well done. Okay, now we're moving on again. So again, I'll show you the lower one. We're going to do a star jump. So straight out, if you don't want to jump. Hands out, bend your knees. Or the other way, it doesn't matter. If you want to make it harder, then we're doing the jump. Hands and legs together. Your choice. If you want to make it even more fun, just go around in a circle. And then maybe go back the other way. Stay so your choice, whichever one you want to do. Time is on, and go. So in and out. In and out. You want to turn around, turn around. If you started jumping and it's too much, just take it out. If you started with it this way and you want to take it up, take it up. Ten seconds. This is yours. Pushing it out. Keep going. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Well done, everybody. Okay, big step. Breath in. Bring that breathing down. And out. And in. And out. Okay, this time, sitting on the floor. Feet out in front. And again, from the small of the back, lean forward and try and touch your toes. Holding it there. If you can touch your toes quite comfortably, then try and pull your nose down onto your knee. And holding it there. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, from there, taking the feet double shoulder width, keeping the toes facing towards the ceiling. Don't let them fall in or out. Facing the ceiling, big stretch up. And again, lean forward and try and grab the soles of your feet. Without bending these knees, no cheating. Keep the knees straight. Big breath, hold. If you can, put yourself a bit further down. And the more advanced, try and get your head on the floor. Holding that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Bring your feet in. Give them a little shake. And standing up slowly. Bring your head up last. And that's the fitness for this week. Well done. Yeah, I hope, you, I hope you're still with us for that one. You, now's the time you can take a breather. Hopefully it's just cool down. If it gets stiff in the morning, especially our, our new uh, joinings, uh, then just do the warm-up, cool-down exercise to get the muscle going. It just reduces the stiffness of the muscles. Well, as I promised you earlier, just to update what the academy is and uh, where we are. We're ready to open. So we've been down there, we've been doing a deep clean, we've got the uh, sanitizers and soaps and everything ready, uh, and we've partitioned off partly so it's we can social distance. Now, at the moment, the government's saying two metres and one metre if you have to, but two metres. For physical exercise, when you expel more air, they want more space. So we've actually matted out, marked out the matted area for four metres. So if we're face to face, it's four metre distancing. If you're side to side, it's two, it's three plus meters distancing. So we're reducing the amount of people we have to, 
and we have to monitor who's on it. So near the time when we do open, we've got a booking system so we can log who's coming in, we can monitor how many we're gonna have per session, and so forth. We'll explain in more detail when we get open. Now, as you know, we can't open the 4th of July or 6th of July, where a lot of people open, because they're not allowed to. It's not we want to, we're ready. We're not allowed to. We've got a social distancing policy, everything in line, but, the government have whispered it could be the 13th. Now, it's basically they don't know themselves. They want to see the results of this weekend's frenzy of people going to the pub and opening up the other events. If there's not an increase, they'll expand it. You know, they've, they've said this in essence. So if we can open the 13th, we'll let you know. Uh, we're having trouble with it getting everyone emailed, but we will let you know. Uh, we're changing how we do the emailing system, so hopefully you'll get it. We'll do Facebook, we'll text, we'll do whatever to let you know, and to let you know what, what it is. Don't forget, keep an, an eye on our front page of the website, the uh, cmbba.com. Our normal website, we're using the front page as a notice board, so you can actually find out what's going on as soon as we realise it. Right, to conclude today's session, as we always do at this point, um, word of the week. The word of the week is moderation. So that could be in many things. Um, so moderation, you know, if, you, if you've got a large bar of chocolate, do we have a couple of pieces or do we just not let it go to uh, rotten and eat it all? Moderation. So if that for, for across the board, so again, with the guys, the kids, it might be not drink the whole bottle of fizzy pop. Have a glass if, if that's what you're having. Uh, water's probably better. Right, that's going to move on to the thought of the day. As you know, uh, I put thought of the day on Facebook every day. Now, thought of the day today is just a general term. And that is, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And it's quite simple, as it, as it says. Um, and I'll say that again, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And where we're going with that, the concept behind this is to set plans and get them together. So the horse to water is setting your plan, and the making it drink is, is using your plan. Now, at the moment, we're in our, we're returning to our new normal. So it won't be normal as we know it. We're returning to a, a new normal, uh, which would be with conditions. But with that in mind, having this time off for a lot of us, some of us have maybe overeaten, over, have a few more glasses of wine we should do, not exercise as much as we should do. So if you're setting a plan now, and this is the idea to do it, and we've set some other ideas along the, the weeks for people to do stuff, our moderation today is try to, if it is that chocolate bar, don't eat it all, have half it. If it is a glass of wine, don't have as many, just cut down by a couple. So sometimes the smaller goals, the better. So when people go on a diet, they went like this, I can't eat chocolate at all. And guess what? They spend the whole day thinking about chocolate. And that goes across the board with other things that you can or cannot have. So are you better off cutting back than cutting out? Because it then becomes a treat that you can't have. Or when I do have it, I'm gonna go bonkers and I have two bars. So just a thought for you. Just an idea, so it's not happened to, but the idea being is you can take a horse to water, you can't make it drink, you can set plans, but unless they're realistic plans that you can step by step go on. So if you couple it on by a glass a day, then it might be later on another glass until you're actually more uh, comfortable where you wanna be. Okay, thank you very much for joining us for this and previous sessions. Just before we do go, is there any other call outs that we've had? Uh, no, we're, we're all caught up, so uh, yeah, we're all good. Brilliant, we're caught up with all the call-outs that those that did um, tell us. One thing I was going to say is a lot, a lot of people are watching these back in between. Although we're not sort of manning the comments 24-7, if you do, if you do want to, if you are watching it back not live, just drop a comment in there and we'll address it at the start of next week's session or... In between time. Catch it in between. Yeah, hopefully you heard all that. Uh, as you know, this is recorded, so you can view it. And the great thing about it, if any of the parts that you think, oh, I'd want to do that bit, you can watch it all, or in parts, you can forward wind, rewind, stop, cut out my talking. Um, and as James saying, we can comment uh, in between. And if you've got any requests, and that's also what this, this interaction is, if you've got any requests for future screaming, streamings, we can do that. Yes, we're going to carry on this once we get back. Um, but it might be limited just to the Academy members. We'll, we'll, it's all, see how we go. Right, with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you stay for the towards the end. We're going to finish with starting. Well, there, Peter. And well, have a great weekend and a safe week.